Okay, so... This makes no sense to me. Because the thing I was missing, apparently, was we don't have it anymore, but the Dream Chaser's Ashes in Fair and Keep. It doesn't mention Cirrus. It doesn't mention the Sunless Realms. It doesn't mention anything about that. There's no connection there. So it makes no sense that you need that to summon her. And then... Because, like, in New Game, I go and grab everything. And so, I just always do that. Whereas in New Game Plus, I just run through everything because it's like, I don't need anything from the Dream Chaser's Ashes. I don't need, I don't need anything from there. And there's no connection between those ashes and her. Unless you say it is like, oh, she's an idealistic person who's chasing dreams. But it's like, you could say the same thing for Horus. You could say the same thing for Arena. You could say, you could say the same thing for the blacksmith. Like, you could say the same thing about a lot of characters. And then after that, I had to reset the area a good, like, 10, 15 times for her to actually show up. It makes no sense. Like, sometimes, especially if you go faster than the game expects you to, Sometimes that game just, like, has an aneurysm and doesn't know what to do. And it's very sad. We're doing no damage. No, 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 no. Nah. Nah. -uh. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. No. Nope. Not happening. Not happening. Sorry, bud. Right, goodbye. Thank you for your kind assistance. Yep. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Sometimes she stands there, sometimes she walks this way. I don't know what causes what to happen. Th there's a lot of things like that. Whereas, like, sometimes things just happen, sometimes things just don't happen. Uh. I don't know. I don't know what causes what. I don't know what causes what to not what, but. Sometimes things just happen, sometimes things don't happen. Sometimes you need to reset an area for like 10, 15 times for something to happen even if you have all the things that you need. I don't know. It's very strange. Make no sense. It made no sense and I don't understand. Tiny brain can't comprehend. Also, hello. You good? You, you having some trouble? Hi. Hi. You having some trouble too? I, I mean, we're all having some trouble right now. Brain can't process. I know how it feels. You have almost 300,000. The soul of a venerable old hand. Also, sometimes Anri's sign appears here and then you can help Anri kill Aldrich. Which, it's like, you can't summon Anri to help you kill Aldrich. Uh, you accept Anri's plea to help them kill Aldrich. 
But then also you still have to kill Aldrich. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, you have to do like a different version of the quest for that. Because the way we've done it on both this run and the last one is we did the like Londor version where we don't kill Anri, but Anri uh, takes a nap and we put a sword through them because we need to do that to get married, apparently. I mean, who am I to say? Mm -hmm. Now, question is, do we want to deal with slobber mouth? No, oh, I hate it. 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 Ugh, I, I hate the noises that it makes. It makes, like, clickety noises. No. Shush. Be quiet. No talking. And don't follow me. Ugh. Don't follow me as I swap up my rings. Hmm. Wood grain. Do we need wood grain? I don't think we need... For a second, I thought it was going to walk outside. I don't know why that made it more terrifying, but it did. Uh, we, we, we can heal once. And then... I don't think they use dark. I think they use magic. Right? Right? I don't know anymore. I mean, that's purple. Typically, purple's dark, right? It's like magic is blue, purple is dark, but also you get their bow and it does magic. So... So it's like, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm lost and I'm scared. And this thing eats children. And I'm mentally a child. And please don't shoot your bow at me. Ow. Yeah, like, I, I'd take the giant laser beams over the bow any day. Oh, God. I don't know if... Okay. I don't know if the bow is just something I never figured out. Or what, but it's like... No idea how to dodge this thing. Outside of running in circles and praying. I was annihilating my poor dodge button. And it just was not enough. All right. Now, bad devour of gods and children. Bad. It's kind of weird. It's like Aldrich is the only Lord of Cinder that I fear. Like, either to fight 
alone or with help. Doesn't matter. They're the only one that I fear. It's like, I can fight Yorm solo, no problem. Also, the best ring in the game. Yeah, I can fight Yorm alone, no problem. I can fight uh, the Abyss Watchers alone, no problem. I can fight uh, Prince Lothric alone, no problem. So, hello. Hmm. Blessed mail breaker, so a light blessed weapon in case you want it, which is nice. And then silver kitty ring to take care of fall damage. Quiet. Yep. And then, yeah, he's back. So, oh, I'm back. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, oh, let's goodbye. No, what? No. Oh. Alright, it just defaulted to leave there. But yeah, so... The first one, he went to... Like, the first time you send him out, he goes to... The Undead Settlement. But he picks up Pontiff Knight stuff. Which is in Irithyll. Second time you send him out... You need to have... Sigurd... There, in Irithyll. And then you need to kill one of the two bosses of Irithyll. To bring him back. But then he brings home Lothric Knight stuff. Like the uh. He brings home the Ultra Great. Or he brings home the Straight Sword. The Ultra Great Sword. The Spear. Which boosts Poise. Which is pretty cool. And the shield and the great shield. And, I mean, along with some other stuff. Good <laughs> but I do think that's kind of nice. Welcome, very good. Hold on. Just do that. Just brute force it. <laughs> But, actually, hold on. Do you have... Do you have the thing you do? Yeah, this for 10 souls, and it has a different item description at the very bottom. Ashen one. And then you can go do the end of Cirrus's quest. Well, quote-unquote, end the last thing you, like, actually need to go out of your way to do, which... Cliffhunter side. Pretty sure this is the fastest way to get there. But for Greg Ride, it's like, you can send him out three times, and it gets more dangerous each time. Where, like, the first one, it's safe. The second one... He might die... But you can save him if you have a certain other character's quest at a specific point. And then the third one, again, I try to get as much knowledge as I can by myself. Uh, okay. Well... I don't know, then. But, like, for the final one... Again... I try to figure out things on my own. I have yet to find... a way... to make Greyrat survive. Now... I've only tried, like, twice. <laughs> And the first time was during my very first run. When I talked to him, he was like, hey, you want me to go to this place? And I was like, yeah, sure, more items. And then 
I found him dead. And then the second time, he was like, like, I really listened to him. It was like, place is a death trap. No one's ever survived. And I was like, I'm going to figure out a way. And I did not figure out a way. <laughs> Again, there may be a way. I don't know it. And I don't want to try. Um, Hi. Uh, I, yep. Sick bro. No. Yep. Have you? Who? Yep. Yep. <sighs> yep. And back to where we came from. So for Siegward, after talking to him there, there's only one more part of his quest. Uh, life ring. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Put that on. Uh, wood grain. I don't think we need either of those right now. But hello. Hi. How you doing? You're dead. So, like I said, I used to be really, really focused on speed. Back in like 2019. I didn't do speed runs. Like trying to hit the world record or anything. But I tried to be as fast as possible while still getting, like, most of the major items. And what I found out is you can actually run down here and get the attention of these two guys, but it'll also get the attention of this guy. Even if you... Even if you don't get close enough for him to see you, he'll be like, oh, oh, what are those two guys after? And then he'll come after you. Or he'll just like, no. No. Elva? Elva, hello. Seeker of the Spurden. Don't know what Spurden means, but. Nice shot, man. I thought you were gonna shoot again. Yeah, that it. Ow. Until right there. That was really effective. Now, get that nonsense out of here. Wait, hold on. Please. Again. Uh. 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 Him not attacking is scarier than him attacking. Because it's like, he could attack at any time. I don't know what he was doing. I think he had an aneurysm. Oh yeah, computers... Computers just act weird sometimes. And it's terrifying. Like, when we get to the point... When we get to the point of society where computers walk among amongst us and it's just like Detroit become human there, There's gonna be one robot that just starts walking around people and It's gonna be the most terrifying thing ever Also in there if you pick up some items, there's like one of these little guys that just sits up and then they start screaming. Which is a really cheap jump scare and hurts the earbuds more than anything. And 
Not letting FromSoft get away with that. Uh, it, it's bad. That bonk. Bad from soft. You can make good game design without needing to crank something at 2,000 decibels. Straight to people's ear holes. You don't need to do it. That. And... I yeah, like that. No need to do that. There's simply no reason. Roll. Now, I heard from a friend that you can actually roll down there and just skip this entire area. Don't know if that's true, haven't tried it. But I trust them. Still not gonna do it because I like to go through this area. Also, question mark, mimic. Like I said, that can be used with every chest in the game. It works every time. And then there's another mimic in this area as well. Now you can actually drop down there and the giant's hand is there. If you wanna. Clown Extendo Katana. The Clown Extendo Katana always works. It is surprisingly effective. Like, for as cartoonish as it is, and how much it would absolutely snap in half from a single attack, it is surprisingly effective. Now also, same with there. You can just jump down there. I am trying to exist peacefully no need to do that. Tis rude. See, he could just exist peacefully. See, I got a rule. If you don't attack me, I don't attack you. Unless I have a reason to attack you. Also, smiley face. Normal chest. Is it? Works with every chest in the game. Now, sometimes you just need to run back and forth. Sometimes you just need to run away. Because that gets you away from them. That lets you get the curse down a bit. Because curse is instant death. If it fills up. Now how that was a smiley face and it was a normal chest. Question mark. And it's a mimic. Now some mimics are upside down four legged mimics. Flop. And you get a ring from it. I, to my knowledge, I don't know if there's a way to tell the difference between two-legged and, and four-legged mimics. But does that really matter? Because uh, a mimic is a mimic. Like, I feel like that's the more important thing, is which chest is gonna help you and which chest is going to eat you alive. I feel like that's a more important distinction. Also in New Game Plus, 
you probably already have Path of the Dragon, and so you can just use that to get to Arc Dragon Peak right away. But... I'm not gonna do that just yet. Because... We got other places to be. And Arc Dragon Peak is really scary. <laughs> Actually, just earlier today, uploaded Arc Dragon Peak from the first run. And man, those things do a lot of damage. Which. Speaking of scary. If those things hit you... It makes you do the, like, slow roll from if you have over 70% weight capacity. Yep. Or it'll just kill you. Because, yeah. These things simply looking at you drains your health bar. And you can get down to, I think you can get down to literally 1 HP. I know I've fallen down to 2 HP before. Not sure, like, I don't think I've ever seen myself go to 1 HP. But I know I've hit 2 before. Also, do... Don't really care about dying, because it's like, oh well. Especially in this area, because it's like the extra health provided by being embered. Uh, the enemy simply looking at you gets rid of that. Like, you, you get the uh, 1 HP pretty quickly. So, doesn't matter. It really does not matter. Yeah, look, like, already in the one-shot territory. So, what matters is staying out of range, baiting attacks, and making sure you have stamina. Th those are the main things that matter. No. <laughs> like I said, just... Baiting attacks. Which... Running at and then away from them is a really good way to do that. But yeah. This area is another reason why auto healing is really good. Because having, like, a. I mean, we're not gonna do it here, because I like sharp and I like having defense. And, I mean, we could have used an Ember. We could have used two healing, doesn't really matter. Either way, question mark, it's a Mimic. Works throughout the entire game. Never fails. Like, it, it's just a guaranteed way to know what's good, what's bad. Yeah, I really like killing all of those enemies and then coming out this way because then you can get Carla. 
without having to go through all of them again. Which part of that means not resting at this bonfire. Which... Yeah, yeah, it did it. Don't know why, but if you run past him, he'll just kind of stand there. He's like, they walked through these two pillars, or this one broken pillar. Whatever am I to do? I'm down here. Again, new game plus a ring down here. I don't know if it's a one or a two. It's a two. Okay. I think I'm... Again, I think I might do... Like, Pyromancies, Miracles, and Sorceries for New Game Plus 2. Instead of a full run. Like, I am going to do a full unique run, but I'm just not going to record all of it. It'll just be like a passive thing in the background. Also, on that roof there, there's another New Game Plus ring. Don't remember if it's a 1 or a 2, though. That's the thing with a lot of the New Game Plus rings, is... I remember the locations, I don't remember if they're a 1 or a 2, though. And just like Pontiff Sullivan's Beast... Those things. Very well designed, and I hate them. <laughs> I hate them because of how well designed they are. Because the... Like, just as someone who hates spiders. Extremely well designed. Terrifying. Also, hand babies. As someone who hates babies. <laughs> Very well designed. Hate it. It's awful. Court Sorcerer. Witch. Court Sorcerer set looks nice. I do think... I do think it looks really good. Uh, Eastern. And again, question mark means it's a mimic. 100% accuracy. It, symbol of Avarice. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so the reason why I kept doing this, the like fallen foes are more likely to drop items, is because of this. The symbol of Avarice. You can only get them from Mimics, which Mimics are one time only enemies. Meaning you kill it once and it's just gone. It just does not come back. Okay. Uh, that didn't do damage, question mark? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. No. The answer is no. I'm sorry. But... Old Hell Key. I don't know why... Like, that did that automatically. I didn't touch the move camera. He just decided to do that. Yep. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Now we can jump out here. And there are two invisible jailers right there. We're not going to bother with them this time. Killed them last time, but this time, nah. I'm just here for the key ring. But yeah, with the symbol of avarice, it's like, because you can only kill 
Like, because you can only kill them once, it's kind of hard to, like, farm the symbol of avarice. Uh, this, this is another door that 180s you. Yep. And then... Uh... Yeah. The light didn't appear. Like, the light of the item. So I was like, ah, which way is it? Yeah, this is another plus one ring. The silver serpent this time. Which is more souls. But the reason why the symbol of avarice is good is because it ups item discovery and uh, the amount of souls you get. And also, question mark means it's a mimic. Again, 100% accuracy. That method does not fail. Bah! Plop. And then we can go all the way up here. Now I know we're skipping some ashes, but it's fine because who cares? But more concerned about getting the NPC than the ashes. Now, hello. You can send an army of rats after me. It will mean nothing. You know why? Because you are pitiful Dark Souls rats. See that? Even if you're giant rats, doesn't matter. You are pitiful Dark Souls rats. Alright. Now the Elden Ring rats. Terrifying. Absolute horrid monstrosities with no equal. Doubt the Orphan of Cause could kill an Elden Ring rat. Doubt Lothric could kill an Elden Ring rat. Hello. Oh, that's good. Yep. Hmm? Yep. You're here, but I yep. Just... Oh. Of course. Yep. Alright, goodbye. So, and that allowed... So... Not sitting in the bonfire, like killing these guys not sitting in the bonfire allows you to get through that to get to her without having to deal with any of them again. And just because we're here, we can path of the dragon out. And sip of the drink. We're not going to do this area yet. Just because, no. But... We can get two here. Slurp. And we can at least get the first bonfire. Now, the twin dagger ones are terrifying. How they do that with the daggers? Again, that's a parry. Which means... Because, again... Parrying is... a risk-reward. Like, it's a risk-reward mechanic. So you have to take the risk of getting punched in the face to get the reward of parrying an enemy. Ow. Ow, hold on, please. Please. Please, hold your horses. Calm down. Yeah, because computers have pretty much 
like frame perfect timing by design, it no longer becomes a risk reward mechanic and more of if they're doing that animation, you don't attack. It's like, oh, what's that? Is Hodrick or does Hodrick have a shield out? All right, just don't attack. Because if you do attack, he's just going to parry you, and that's probably going to one-shot. And you don't want to get one-shot, so you don't parry. Or you don't attack him, so he can't parry you. Which... Uh, that it, it just feels bad. Because... It's not a risk-reward thing, it's just a enemy does X, therefore you're powerless. <laughs> and I mean, you could say that's a test of patience, but... Eh. Like, especially on Hodrick, where it's like any time he has his shield out... You're just not allowed to attack, but he can attack you. At, at least with the twin dagger guys and the skeletons. With, like, the headless skeletons. It's like they can't attack. <laughs> because their weapon is the thing they use to parry. Meaning, if they're trying to parry you, they just can't attack. And made a dagger. But, it isn't the same with Hodrick. See, it's like... These, these guys are different because that's not a parry, that's just, like, a shield. And also, they're like rock creatures. Using the rock wing as a shield. That's pretty cool. I was gonna say, you gonna jump down? Yes. He's down. And he doesn't know where to go. <laughs> It's like, I'm silent, and he doesn't have eyes. So he's like, what? I don't hear the enemy. Uh, I definitely should have been punished for that. I 100% should have been punished for that. Okay. No. Bad. Bad rock. Golem. Demon. Bird. Angel. <laughs> Whatever you are. I don't know what you are. But... Bonk. Yeah, normally, I don't go the uh, silent route. Normally, I let my footsteps attract one at a time. But, for some reason... Okay. For some reason, New Game Plus makes me extremely impatient. And I'm just like, yeah, just go, 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 go. And so I just go. <laughs> Hi. Now, if it's a case like this where you're like, oh no, I can't, I can't see what it is. 
hit it once. Like, I heard a friend once say that, like, oh, you shouldn't do that because it can break the chest. Okay, well, you're not dropping a nuclear bomb on the chest. You're hitting it once. And then here you can kind of see question mark. Which again, 100% accuracy. If you can see it, and you can make out that it's a question mark, it's a mimic. Works. Oh, another symbol of avarice. It's like, if you're too lazy to check, you can just smack the chest once. Smacking it once is not going to shatter it. I promise you. <laughs> the chest will be fine. Now, I remember in Elden Ring, like in the Battle Mage run, saying that I didn't really like Rykard because he was a gimmick fight that forced you into the gimmick. And how Yorm was better. Because it provided you the gimmick. It encouraged the gimmick, but it didn't force the gimmick. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to run to the very end, and you're supposed to pick up the sword, Storm Ruler. I don't do that. And I don't do that for a very specific reason. Because you can't sell it, and because... If you pick up, or if you want to pick up Sigurd's armor, it forces you to pick up Storm Ruler first. Which again, you can't sell it, and it only has tender ability, which I believe is the lowest in the game, making it very not useful. You see how I'm not being forced into the gimmick? It's like, I'm not doing any damage. But I can fight him like a normal boss if I wanted to. That's what I want. I want to be able to fight the gimmick bosses like normal bosses. <laughs> Poor guy's so confused. But that's what I want. I want to fight... Or I want the option to fight a gimmick boss like a normal boss. Which means if you pick that storm roller up, and then you talk to Sigurd, or you pick his stuff up because you want his armor, that gives you two Storm Rulers. And again, you cannot sell them. Which sucks. So, hello, Emma. Yep. Yep. Sure. You cannot skip that dialogue, by the way. I was trying. Now, the dancer. I hate this boss, by the way. This is one of the very few bosses in the entire Souls series that I would put in D tier.
mind you, there are some bosses that I have never learned to properly fight. There are some bosses that I truly, thoroughly do not enjoy. But I understand. And I can appreciate the attempt. And I'm like, yeah, they, they can go into C tier. Which, like, Rikard is one of them. Where it's like, it's a boss I don't enjoy. But I understand what they were going for. And I can appreciate the attempt. I don't appreciate the dancer. I don't appreciate anything about this boss. There's almost nothing I like about this boss. I hate this boss more than almost any other boss in the series. I... It's like, I understand... Again, a lot like all the other bosses I don't like, I understand what they were trying to do with the dancer. I just don't think they did it well. <laughs> but... After this... We got... Consumed King's Garden. Which is... At the very least, enjoyable in theory, we got Lothar Castle, which is an area I really like. And then we got Arc Dragon Peak, which, again, at the very least, the idea of it, I really like. So... But hey, we're coming to an end. We're... I'm kind of surprised by how fast things are going this time around. I know that New Game Plus is faster because it's like you have more stamina coming in. You have more variety in terms of like weapons, magic if you want to use that, rings, consumable items... So it's like things tend to go by a lot faster. But I tend to prefer New Game over New Game Plus. And I tend to spend most of my time in New Game where it's like I'll beat the game and then I'll just create a new character. Because for me it's slower, it helped it helps me learn. And it really lets you dive deep and just sink your teeth into something and really learn the limitations. And that's really enjoyable, but... Doing this, it, it, it is fun to just kind of breeze through everything. I mean, you can't enjoy things as much. But... Yeah. Yeah.